Hi, this is Sabrina, and today I'm going to show you how to construct the pockets and side seams in Vogue 1645, the Tracy Rees jumpsuit. I found the instructions on the construction of the pockets to be pretty confusing, so I thought I would film this video walking through steps 26 to 39 of the pattern instructions. Let's start with steps 26 and 27, where we sew the front overlay to the right back piece. The instructions tell you to pin overlay to side edge of right back. I was initially very confused because I matched up the notches, but I found that the front overlay was not the same length as the right back piece, and the front overlay overlapped with part of the pocket, which didn't seem right. The key here is actually found back in step 11, where the instructions tell you to sew the right side front to the back but only above the large circle, not all the way down the entire length of the seam. It is crucial to leave part of the seam unsewn. Now, if you flip the unsewn part of the right side front up, then match the notches of the front overlay and right back piece, you'll find that everything now magically lines up. I've gone ahead and pinned the entire seam in place and you can see how everything fits together. The top of the overlay matches exactly with where the stitching ended in step 11. Then the rest of the seam is straightforward until you get to the hem, where you'll find that the back piece is longer than the front overlay. Mine was about one and a quarter inch longer. Now I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and stitch down the side seam, and then stitch around the outer edges of the pocket as directed in step 27 in the pattern instructions. Okay, I've now sewn the side seam and around the pocket bag, as you can see. The next step is to baste the edge of the right side front to the front overlay, as indicated in step 28 of the pattern instructions. Okay, I've taken this to my sewing machine and basted it with the longest stitch length on my machine. Now it's time to move on to inserting the zipper. The first step in inserting the zipper is to find the right front opening edge and open out the facing. Next, open your zipper and place the zipper face down on the seam allowance, then pin. The pattern instructions direct you to stitch the zipper in using an invisible zipper foot, but I prefer to pick stitch my zippers in by hand because I find that gives me more control. I've gone ahead and pick stitched one side of my zipper, as you can see. That's steps 29 and 30 in the pattern instructions done. Now the tricky part is figuring out where to attach the other half of the zipper. According to step 31, we need to pin the other half of the zipper to the right back opening edge. Personally, I found it easiest to turn over the entire garment to look at the back. With the right front, with the half attached zipper, opened out to the left underneath the back. Then I found the right side of the back and followed it through to find the seam allowance on the inside. Then I brought the right front piece over and matched the notches in the pant leg. That tells me where the other half of the zipper should go. So now I can go ahead and pin the other half of the zipper in place. At this point, the whole thing looks like a giant fabric burrito, but don't worry, it will all work out in the end. So I've pick stitched the other half of the zipper in, and now all that's left to do is to stitch the rest of the leg seam below the zipper. I'm also going to hand sew the end of the zipper tape to the seam allowances, as directed in step 34. So we've finished constructing the right side of the jumpsuit, and now we need to tackle the left side of the jumpsuit, starting at step 35 in the pattern instructions. Start by pinning the left pocket to the side edge of the left front. Stitch, and don't forget to pivot across seam allowances at the circles. Okay. So I've stitched the pocket to the left front, turned the pocket to the inside, then stitched the outer edges of the pocket bags together. Now we need to base the side edge of the left side front to the left front, as directed in step 38. 
You'll also need to sew the front to back at the left side as directed in step 39. And with that, you're done constructing the pockets and side seams. The rest of the construction steps are pretty straightforward, so I won't walk through them in this video.